Hey guys, Alex here, and after my recent Android 4.0 ice cream sandwich video, I've decided to do a um, tutorial on how to actually do this, uh, after quite a lot of requests. Uh. So the first thing we need to do is unlock your bootloader. Oh yeah, and this first video is just going to be um, a how to unlock your phone, well not it, root, the equivalent of rooting, basically so you can install a custom OS. This won't, this won't let you change um, phone carrier or anything like that. So the first thing you need to do is go to httdev.com which is an official HTC site, all completely legit and you'll need to register and log in which I've already done in this tab. So once you've done that go to unlock bootloader, get started. Feel free to stop the video at any time by the way just so you can catch up if you're following this along that is uh, then you'll need to find your HCE device uh, this does work with practically all the HCE devices out there um, what's it? indicate H boot to up the yeah I'm going to be showing for one that does require H boot this screen here basically says you're about to start unlocking your device uh, actually to run all un custom OS's may avoid all, all part of your warranty it claims all the liabilities proper functioning of your device after the boot though it's basically it, could, it can void your warranty but HTC do all th this is an official HTC site so they are, they are ok with it do you wish to continue? yep no, you acknowledge that the use of unlock bootloader may void parts of your warranty and they may charge if you've got an unlocked bootloader. So when you get to this screen, uh, you'll need to go to the required resource on the right hand side and download each of these. Uh, so it's the Android SDK, down right there. Java runtime, most people already have Java installed so you shouldn't really need to do that. Just make sure you've got Java installed, do a quick search on the start menu and we need to download the HTC Sync just find your phone model page is slowly loading, here we go find your phone model use and download download it there so that should install the drivers for your phone and get it all sorted so once you've downloaded and installed all of these uh, you'll then need to Go to, you need to go to this page. Uh, if you don't find your one version on the table and your one version is newer, you know, not quite any high you. So if you have a look down here, there's a big list of um, different IUUs, uh, which is basically the, your bootloader. So you need to find one for your specific carrier. So for example, Telefonica, T-Mobile US. Tesco Mobile, purchasing some 3G, Orange, some of them are separated by region as well. ATC Arabic, um, T Mobile, Vodafone, Virgin, AC Thailand. There's just a big list of couriers here. Make sure your ROM version matches up. If it should be the ROM version should be in your about screen somewhere. So then you'll need to download it, just find the relevant one, and it comes up as a nice exe file. And I've already downloaded this, so you'll need, you need admin permissions to do it. I don't actually have a phone plugged in right now, so it's probably not going to properly work, but... So, run through that, next, connect the smartphone, it basically... Very, very simple to follow, disable the fan by hibernate mode on your computer, make sure the main battery is charge rate in 30%. It, I don't think it'll even let you go forward if that. Uh, next. And now it's probably all going to blow up on me because I don't have a phone installed. Better find your phone information. That unfortunately is not going to work. So I'm just going to kill that. Uh, 
maybe. Yeah. It won't, I'm forced closing it here. It shouldn't really. There we go. So once you've got um, updated to the latest version, you'll probably need to run an update. Oh, and bef mm, I should have mentioned this before, but before you do that, make sure you back up. Sync all your stuff and back up. Your phone will be white. Hopefully you watch this video through fully before doing it. Always watch it full, then do it step by step. And step, step, and it's just pretty much step by step diagram with the battery. Uh, actually, I'm removable battery, long press power button, and select restart. Hold down the volume key, then press volume down and power to start it into the bootloader. Which will be a screen a bit like this. Simplified down. Volume keys to go up and down. I like fast boot and press power and connect it to the computer again so this next bit is a little bit more complicated you need to create a new folder somewhere where we put in the following three files in these files you get from the, from the Google Android SDK I'm just going to be right back while I go and find this I think I'll break down into some I don't actually have the program on here but I've downloaded this if you go down fastboot.exe is not in the latest one it wasn't when I looked last so you need to get to download that but you'll, fi you'll find um, the other files in and program files or program files 86 if you're running 64-bit windows Android, Android SDK and you'll find them in the tools folder and you'll need to download this for Windows, that for Mac the fastboot files so I already have the fastboot I'll drag out here basically just a compressed version of that pop that over and you'll find them in the tools so you'll want fastboot.exe um, not the other two. Right. ADB.exe. ADB has move.txt. Move to platform tools slash tool. Okay. You'll find the fast boot there. Create a just a link on your or folder on your desktop. Something like Android. You need to put fast boot. It moved. Move to platform dash tool slash if. Okay, but you'll get it from the tools folder once you've run it. And if you follow through the steps, you'll get that. You'll get all three files. So now you need to go run, go start run or win Windows and R and type in cmd there then you'll need to go cd c colon backslash and default location is users backslash your username backslash desktop backslash android if you put it in the same place I did you can proceed to step 8 so you type in. You will have to have your phone plugged in at this point, so I can't go any further showing you. You have to type in fastboot OEM. Basically, just copy and paste that. Copy, paste, and enter. Without the dots at the end, it will work. Then you can go right-click, mark, select the code it shows you to do here. Then right click again and it will copy it to your uh, clipboard. So it will look like one of those. You'll then need to go to the bottom here and enter your token. It will then send you an email with how to continue through the steps. So here's one I did earlier. Actually, I think that's a couple months ago now. Probably more than that, actually. But yeah, this will be what the email you get looks like. 
just got in here so I don't have my emails on, email address on screen um, and you'll need to click the link there which will take you to this page unlocking bootloader instructions step 11 receive an email with the unlock bin attached uh, and save it in the same place as you did with uh, Android the Android folder on your desktop will be here then you need to type in this command copy and paste it again and you'll get the following message hopefully <laughs> then if you go and look at your phone you should get a um, read this carefully, use the volume button, select your choice so you can actually relock your bootloader after you've done this just by typing into cmd while, while in the folder of course you just boot oem lock and now just relock it so then you're ready to go so thank you for watching this part Stay tuned very very shortly for part 2, how to install ice cream sandwich. The next part is very very much phone specific, uh, so I this will, the next step will only be for the HTC Wildfire S. Thank you guys for watching, till next time, goodbye.